Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for listening in on the latest COVID-19 update. As I'm sure you know, Governor Baker's reopening advisory report was announced last week and includes a four-phase reopening plan for Massachusetts. Start, cautious, vigilance, and new normal. Certain sectors of our local and state economies can now reopen once they comply with the state's COVID-19 workplace safety standards. Detailed information on workplace safety standards, as well as information on what businesses and industries can reopen in each phase is available on the state website, mass.gov forward slash info details forward slash reopening Massachusetts with additional information being developed on our city website as new guidance from the state is released. This plan includes our economy and many other areas of community life, such as parks, beaches, libraries, summer school, and other programs, recreation, child care, youth sports, and more. While some businesses can now reopen under the state's four-phase reopening plan, no businesses are required to open. Phase one began this week and applies to construction and manufacturing sectors, as well as houses of worship. Next Monday, May 25th, hair salons, barbershops, pet groomers, and car washes will be eligible to open, and retail will be eligible to conduct online and phone businesses for curbside pickup. Preventative services at doctors and dentists offices can also open in phase one. Beaches are reopening on Memorial Day, and this will include Plum Island, and we will be opening the lot on Monday, March 25th. The Parker River Refuge remains accessible on foot as the refuge works on a reopening plan in accordance with federal guidelines. Additionally, Residents can also obtain free discount parking stickers for Plum Island for this parking lot at the Harbor Master facility at 27 Rear Water Street beginning Thursday, May 28th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. seven days a week. Please bring your vehicle registration. Additionally, the boat launching facility at Cashman Park is open and the central waterfront docks will be available beginning Monday, May 25th. The transient boater facility remains closed to public access, but business will be conducted outside of the facility until further notice, pending guidance from the state. It is critical that all of us follow the guidelines and safety precautions established by each business and sector that reopens First and foremost, all must wear a mask or face covering. A safer at home advisory was also issued as part of the state's four phase plan. What does safer at home mean? All residents are advised to leave home only for healthcare, worship, permitted work, shopping, and outdoor activities. People over the age of 65 and people who have underlying health conditions who are at high risk for COVID-19 should continue to stay home except for essential errands and to attend to health care needs. At this phase, participation in close contact activities such as pickup sporting games continue to be prohibited. Use remote modes of communication like phone, or video chat instead of visiting friends or family who are at high risk for COVID-19. Visitation continues to be restricted at nursing homes, skilled nursing facilities, hospitals, and other residential care settings. The key to moving from phase one of the plan to the subsequent phases will be contingent upon seeing continued positive trends with the COVID-19 numbers. Each phase is estimated to last three weeks, but the state has been clear that if numbers aren't moving in the right direction, phases could be longer or we could even go back to an earlier phase. 
all residents are required to cover their face when they cannot maintain six feet of social distance in public. And this will be the norm in all phases of the reopening. The city continues to have free masks available. They can be obtained at the Newburyport Senior Community Center at 331 High Street from 9 to 1 every weekday. Please call 978-462-0430 to make arrangements for other pickup times. To date, 65 Newburyport residents have tested positive for COVID-19, and sadly, we have lost two residents. We have been very fortunate to have low numbers in comparison to other communities within Essex County. These numbers show that our shared efforts to slow the spread of the virus has been working. So thank you for your commitment to everyone's health these past two months. We must continue to be vigilant as compliance will continue to keep our cases down and build confidence in the public to begin patronizing our businesses. Playgrounds and athletic fields remain closed. The rail trail, boardwalk, other parks and open spaces remain open for walking, hiking, biking and exercise. Dogs are still required to be on leash at all times. We expect some revised guidelines for these spaces in phase two and three. Last week I announced the cancellation of all large-scale events in Newburyport for the summer and unfortunately do not foresee any changes based on the four-phased opening plan. Smaller events that can run safely and comply with limitations to gatherings and social distancing will be considered by city officials and the Board of Health on a case-by-case -case basis. While summer events will not go on, we await more information and further guidance on the remainder of the calendar year. We understand many families are waiting to hear whether we will be able to offer summer programming and camps this year. The state has included some basic outdoor education program activities and guidelines that can occur during phase one, but we anticipate and need more specific guidelines and requirements as to phase two and phase three. We will be modifying programs to adapt to following all protocols and procedures to maintain safe activities. We are currently developing programs and offerings in accordance with the CDC and state guidelines. We anticipate releasing more information on summer programming and camps shortly, hopefully by the end of next week. The superintendent and his team at the school department are awaiting state and city official guidance around the actual reopening of our schools. And our number one priority is keeping our staff and our students safe. They are also in the process of creating a reopening task force and are currently developing plans for summer learning programs for the next school year. Our yard waste facility has been up and running for a couple weeks and we are pleased to let you know the recycling center will open soon. Please check the city website for more information. We will also end the Low Street trash drop off for cardboard and trash effective tomorrow, Friday, May 22nd. Newburyport City Hall and other municipal buildings will remain closed to the public as we make preparations for the safety of our staff and the public when we do reopen. This requires installing plexiglass shields in offices with customer counters, procuring sufficient PPEs, disinfectant, sanitizer, and decisions on safe scheduling and access. Since the state prohibition against gatherings of more than 10 people remain in effect, all city public meetings and hearings will be conducted remotely until further notice. This includes city, city council and school committee meetings. I wish to extend my sincere gratitude to city staff and all employees who have continued to work during this very challenging time. Here in Newburyport, we will be working together with our local businesses to support them in every way possible. 
the Economic Recovery Task Force continues to meet and is working with focus groups by economic sector to begin developing reopening plans on the local level. Restaurants, personal services, small business, retail, nonprofits, art, general business, and manufacturing. We anticipate learning from these groups how the city, including its boards and commissions, can help play a role in facilitating a safe, thorough, and comprehensive reopening. We have the Newburyport Connected web page on the city website, a resource for all, and have dedicated staff available to guide you. Please complete the online form and you will be contacted. You can also use the same form to request gift cards for food. We have received many donations and would like to distribute these to anyone who needs assistance. And remember to look at all of our resources and updates on the city website, city of website, cityofnewburyport.com. Lastly, I have asked you to stay the course over the last several weeks as we've continued to live with the stay-at-home order, and you have all done so. This is why our state has begun to begin to reopen our economy and our communities. Our ability to continue on this path relies directly on our own actions going forward. So please continue to keep a physical distance, wear face coverings, wash your hands, stay home from work when you feel sick, and for that matter, stay home whenever we can. It is so important now more than ever as we begin the reopening of our city. I also want to wish everyone a happy Memorial Day, and if you happen to run across one of our veterans, please take a moment and say thank you for your service. We also will be airing a special remote Memorial Day service on Monday. Thank you to all of you. Continue to be safe and stay well. Thank you.